Good morning, church family. Here's some hope for Wednesday. So we've been talking about values that do not change this week. And the most important value is Jesus. He doesn't change no matter, no matter whether we meet online or on campus. He is who unites us. Ephesians 1.10, God's plan to unite everything in heaven and on earth in him. Then there's life change. Life change happens as we walk in him. And that means that our growth will be slow. It will be a process. It'll be a journey. One step right after the other. Left, right, left, right. Life change happens through small steps of obedience. What is my small step of obedience today? Well, let's move on to authenticity. That's another value that's timeless no matter whether we meet online or in person. Authenticity. Uh, someone defined authenticity as the daily practice of releasing who I think I am supposed to be and instead embracing who God says I am. Did you get that? It's about embracing who God says I am. God is the supreme court of my identity. And here is my identity. In Christ, Paul says, this is Ephesians 1, I'm blessed with every spiritual blessing. I'm chosen to be holy and blameless. I'm predestined for adoption as sons in the beloved. Uh, in Christ, I have redemption. I have forgiveness of my trespasses. I have an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. In Christ, I have the seal of the Holy Spirit, the guarantee of salvation. In Christ, I live to the praise of his glory. So I never need to figure out what my purpose is in life. God has told me what my purpose is. My purpose is to live for the praise of his glory. Now, when I get that, then I can be who God says I am and not who anybody else, including myself, says I am. And then I can live free, free in Christ. And that's authenticity. Heavenly Father, remind us through your spirit and your word over and over and over who we are in Christ. Many voices compete for our attention. Oh Lord, help us hear your voice today. We are loved in Christ. And the church said, Amen.